I have seen in my ministry people do the impossible. I have seen them move mountains of impossibility where no one, and I mean no one, believed that they could. But the key point is they believed they could. I have seen people get dream relationships. I have seen people get dream jobs that were impossible to get. I'm one of those. I did in the past. I got some very, very big jobs that I was way too young, uh, too immature to get, and yet I got. The one thing that equips a person strongly to do the impossible, the one thing is faith. And I'm not talking about an on-again, off-again, doubt-ridden faith. I'm talking about an absolute, without any hesitation, faith. Where they know. Where they're filled from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet with faith that they're going to be healed. That they're going to have new energy again, a new life. And a new faith that the best is yet to be. That empowers a human being more than any college degree, more than any gift of a million trillion dollars that could come to a person. It is the gift of having God come through you from the fourth dimension into the third dimension to create demonstration and manifestation. Well, beginning this week, you have faith in God, not just a little bit. You have faith. It is multiplying, it is increasing on its own. And with faith in God, you envision divine solutions that are now becoming a reality. You have faith in God. I have faith in God. Just saying these words infuses you with confidence. I have faith in God. You hear your own words of faith echoing back to you. And it says in the Bible, faith comes by hearing. When you hear your own words, when you hear yourself inside and out, speaking to yourself in a new way, my friend, you are equipped with the greatest thing for success that any woman or man could ever be equipped with. You have faith in God within you. Not a far off God, not a God out there somewhere, a God right here, right now, with you, within you. When you consider the intricate workings of your body, you're astounded. If you really study this, just watching the beautiful synchronization with which your fingers and your thumb work, and as you realize what you can do with this, even turning the pages of the book, think about that, the skill, the power of your soul coming through your human body. Seemingly insurmountable obstacles shrink as you allow your faith in God to increase. Faith keeps you, it propels you, it helps you to stay calm because it allows you to envision the divinely inspired solution as they take form and as they become a reality. With faith in God, you expect and you accept the blessings of God every day. I say this on one of my seminars where Jesus said, do you believe? That is actually a mistranslation. It is much closer in today's language to this. Can you accept what I'm saying? 
He said to pray continuously. Well, is this to, to change a moody God? A God that is against you? No, my friend. God is changeless. Always for you. Always with you. Loving. Pray continuously to change yourself. And once your self is changed, everything is changed. Matthew 17, verse 20. If you have the faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. And nothing will be impossible for you.